Hey guys, as some of you may know, I lost my G2 in the mountains a while back. So, I, of course, I went out and bought another one because I'm a glutton for punishment. But this one is a little bit special. It's a little bit different than the standard TBS build, so I'd, I'd like to show you guys what I've done. So if you'd like to emulate this, you can. The thing I like about this build is it's light. It's extremely light. So I'll take you through it and show you what all I've done. It's powered by a KISS CC. So this is a KISS flight controller with four 16 amp ESCs. They have a peak of 21 amps, which for this application is just perfect. Um, I have the other components I have. I have a minimum OSD flashed with a KISS firmware. I have two five volt, one amp Hululu step down converters. One of these powers the Minim OSD. The other will power the run cam split, which is that right there. The video transmitter is a Unify 2G4 500 milliwatt video transmitter. It's been decased, so it's just got the tin shield on it. And I have removed the connector and installed an extension. And the reason I installed the extension is because A, I didn't have an extension of the right length to get my antenna out past the props. So I had to be very careful about antenna placement, otherwise the antenna would get tangled in the props. So I did the extension and that saves a little bit of weight, not much. And yeah, that is basically it. That's a pretty simple build. Um, well. I'm not going to say simple build. I mean, it's a simple conceptual build, but there's a lot of fiddly details. For example, the taking the connector off the Unify 2G4 was not fun. I had to play around with that a lot. I actually took a bad one that I had and practiced on it to make sure I could get it without ripping up the pads. So I was able to do that and I was able to practice. And I also looked at how to install that tin shield on my practice so yeah that's basically it that is my build so here's a test flight of the dbs with the run cam split there's been no post processing on the camera other than just adding in the overlay as you can see it's fairly efficient typically uses between 3 and 10 amps in forward flight. Once I get up to about 60% throttle and 20 amps, it starts to vibrate a little bit. And I think that's the tune. So I'm going to have a play with it. These are basically the stock settings for the KISS. It's running firmware 1.3 RC25 with the adaptive filter. So hope you enjoyed. If you want any more information on this build, let me know in the comments and I will gladly tell you whatever you need to know. Thanks. See you guys.